How do changes in consumer trends increase L.L. Bean's boot sales? So we know they're called duck boots. They're waterproof and durable and kind of ugly. And L.L. Bean is so selling more of them than ever before. A few years ago, L.L. Bean sold its line of outdoor footwear at a moderate, sustainable rate. L.L. Bean boot-making facilities, all of which operate in the United States, were keeping pace with consumer demand. But then, between 2011 and 2014, consumer demand changed in a very big way. By December 2014, more than 100,000 people were on the waiting list to buy L.L. Bean boots. Many of these people were young, urban consumers, not duck hunters. There are several trends that the duck boot can think for its resurgence among, resurgence among trendy millennials. The lumberjack aesthetic is in among many consumer groups. Flannel, wool socks, distressed wood, and yes, big leather boots all fall under the lung, lumberjack look. And for the time being, L.L. Bean is capitalizing on that trend. Another trend that shows no sign of slowing is the appreciation for handmade or made in the USA products, and L.L. Bean can lay claim to both of these labels. Another key selling point that American consumers are valuing more is the durability of L.L. Bean's duck boots. The company sources quality materials, trains and hires professional stitchers, and promises a lifetime warranty for every product it sells. So, if customers are unhappy about the fit of their duck boots, or ruin their boots on a cross-country hike, L.L. Bean guarantees them a full refund or replacement. However, there's no guarantee that these consumer trends will stay. The company has taken advantage of its current opportunities to sell more duck boots. If it's smart, L.L. Bean will also use these opportunities to build long-lasting relationships with new customers so that they keep buying even if the lumberjack trend 